Hi everyone, welcome back to Bochina Macrame. My name is Nicole and in today's DIY pattern tutorial we will be going over a macrame baby pacifier clip. So a few months ago I released the first macrame pacifier clip pattern and in today's tutorial I will be releasing our second macrame pacifier clip pattern. So as you guys may know I recently gave birth to a healthy baby girl and you probably have seen her in the intro video with the macrame baby pacifier clip and so our hands have been a little full lately and this is our first video back on YouTube after a short little break. And I thought it was only fitting to continue with the baby theme for another macrame baby pacifier clip tutorial. This pattern is made with two different color cords and it is made with a macrame daisy pattern using several half inch knots. This is a beginner friendly pattern and it is simple and fun to make. If you are a beginner in macrame and you are looking to start your first or second macrame project, we do have a macrame wall hanging kit that includes all the materials and supplies you will need to get started with your first macrame project. It also teaches you the six basic knots of macrame, which are essentially the knots you will need to know to get started with macrame. However, if you're just looking to get some quality materials without a pattern and you just want to learn off YouTube tutorials, we do offer a two for one cord deal as well with our foundation single strand cotton cord. If you're interested in any of those things, you can check out the links in the video description below. And with that, let's get started. Before we begin, you will need some materials and supplies. I've used three millimeter cotton cord in two different colors for this pattern, as well as a snap closure clip. The cord I will be using for this pattern is a three millimeter single strand cotton cord in coral rose from our rainbow cord line, as well as a three millimeter single strand cotton cord in buttermilk beige, also from our rainbow cord line. This cord is soft and sturdy, making it very easy to macrame with at all skill levels. You will also need a snap button closure similar to this. This is a wooden button snap closure I purchased this on Amazon if you're interested in seeing where I got it, I'll post a link in the description below. You will also need a teether or pacifier that will be held at the very end of this pacifier clip. For the purposes of this pattern, I'm going to use this wooden ring rainbow teether to hold at the very end. To begin, weave a strand of cord at 200 centimeters long, fold it in half, onto the bottom of the snap button closure using a lark's head knot. Then we're going to take a strand of cord in a different color at 200 centimeters long. We're going to fold it in half and weave it above the lark's head knot we just made and we're going to make a lark's head knot with the pink lark's head knot. So the one we had first made, we're going to leave that lark's head knot in the center. So make a lark's head knot on top of the pink lark's head knot and then we're going to pull the pink cords through the center of the beige lark's head knot. Once the pink is pulled through, we're going to take the loop of the beige lark's head knot and we're going to pull the pink cords through that so that the beige loop is sitting on top. Now we're going to start a series of daisy patterns and what we're going to do is we're going to cross the beige cords together one over the other to form a circle and then with the pink cords on the left and right we're going to make a few half hitch knots. So taking the left pink cord we're going to make a half hitch knot under and above and through the left side of the two beige cords. 
then repeat the same thing on the right side mirroring what we just did on the left, pulling the cord upwards and through the loop on the right. Then tighten the knots by pulling on the vertical pink cords on the left and right sides. Then take the left beige cord, we're going to make a half inch knot under and over through the right side of the left pink cord. For this part of the pattern, the beige cord will be the working cord for the next several half inch knots. Then repeat this knot once more over and through the loop. Using the same working cord, we're now going to make a half inch knot in the opposite direction. So bringing the pink cord over to the right, we're going to make a half inch knot from the left side to the right, and then finish off with one more half inch knot. Now we're going to repeat the same thing on the right side, mirroring what we just did on the left. So taking that outer beige cord, we're going to make two half hitch knots under and over and through the left, and then take the pink cord and face it to the left, and now we're going to make two half hitch knots in the opposite direction. Now we're going to cross over the beige cords like we did in the beginning and then start this pattern over with the left and right pink cords for a half inch knot on both sides. You have now completed one daisy pattern. Make six more daisy patterns below for a total of seven daisy patterns. Here I am showing you how to make the second daisy pattern one more time. Continue below until you have a total of seven daisy patterns. Once the pattern is complete, what I'm going to do is cut off the excess pink cords at the bottom. Now we're going to take one of those strands that we had just cut off and we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to place it up against the bottom of the fringe. 
Then we're going to take the other strand of scrap cord and use that as a working cord for a gathering knot. To make a gathering knot, make a loop with one end, hold it with one hand, then take the longer cord end and wrap it around the gathered cord several times. Take that same long cord end and weave it through the loop that we made in the beginning and pull on the top end to tighten the knot. Cut off all the excess cords at the top. Then cut off the excess fringe at the bottom to your desired length. And you are now complete with the macrame pacifier clip. So either using a teether or a pacifier, all you have to do is weave that loop at the bottom through a teether or pacifier. And that concludes our macrame pacifier clip tutorial. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, click subscribe to our channel at Boutique.Macrame for more DIY pattern tutorials just like this. My favorite part of this pattern is how there are two different colored cords incorporated into the pattern. Let me know in the comment section below what your guys' favorite part of the pattern is. I'd love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.